Hey guys, this is going to be a really quick tutorial from the team here at BlenderTech.com. That's Blender, T-E-K.com. If you learned something from this video, please like it and please subscribe. We try to upload at least one quality video a day about Blender, Photoshop, Unity, programming, all sorts of things, if not more. So let's get started because this is just going to be a quick tip about how to create seamless textures. So let's say you have a texture that you've got and you need to tile it over and over in Blender or Unity or whatever, but it is not, or when you go to tile it, it has seams because it's not a seamless texture or a tileable texture, whichever term you use. I'm going to show you how to create a seamless texture. So I'm just going to open a texture, um, something that I know is not already seamless something that's public domain so I believe this one here yeah it's not tileable I'm just looking at it quickly it's not tileable so what you would do is you would take the image size so I go image size and it is how many pixels wide it's 3300 pixels wide so I take half of that which would be let me open up Launchy because I don't like doing math. 3300 divided by 2 is 1650 pixels. So I need to offset it by 1650 pixels. So what you do is you go filter, other, offset, and I'm going to go 1650 pixels to the right. So now you can see it's offset it perfectly um, to the halfway point. It's basically moved this portion over and taken this portion and brought it back to where it originally was but now you can see it's got the seam so to create a seamless texture what you need to do is take the clone tool this little rubber stamp looking one you need to hold down alt and select a source point somewhere near the seam line and you just need to kind of slowly work it until it looks like there's no more seam there so you kind of go back and forth and do a do a little bit better job than I am right now, but you you want to make it look like there's no seam in there whatsoever. So something like that. You you can hardly tell the seam. If I played with the levels, it would be great. You know, you could go. Uh, let's see if I can get it automatically. No. Something like that. Yeah, you can barely barely see the um the sorry the seam anymore and if I play with the dodge tool I can equalize these highlights out here and make it look even there so compared to the original image you can barely tell there's a seam there put a little bit more work into it obviously it's gonna look better in the end but now this texture is completely um, seamless in horizontally but now Let's say you want to do it so it's tileable both horizontally and vertical. So what we need to do is we need to go back to image size and we need to find out the vertical size. So it is 1762 pixels high. So I'm going to open Planchi. 1672 divided by 2 is 836. So I need to offset this 836 pixels vertically. So put that to zero. And we need 836 pixels vertically. So, this one obviously, as you can see, a lot harder. Um, but we'll just do a really quick pass on it. So, Alt click to define a point near the line and just kind of work it back and forth. You can see the second cursor following your cursor to show where it's duplicating from. So again, since the since the uh, shadows and highlights in this are so off, this is not a very good example at all. Um, let's see if I can fix that very, very quickly. All right, so you kind of get the idea. You need to do a lot more work on it. I could make my this brush a little bit bigger maybe just to make it quick um maybe go down here and see what this does but yeah you want to make it look like it's you want to get rid of the seam by using the clone brush tool that looks even worse and yeah getting rid of the seam the clone brush tool is the tool of the trade and your time is the second tool of the trade okay i'm just making it worse we'll leave it as it was 
like that. You can, see, you can see the seam, but if you played with it more, you can make it so that you wouldn't be able to see the seam. This just kind of shows you the general idea. Like I said, use a clone t brush tool and just make it look like there is no seam. By whatever means possible, clone brush tool, dodge, burn, whatever you need to do. And now it's tileable in both the horizontal and vertical positions. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this layer and I'm going to transform it. And I'm going to scale it down 10% both ways. So now if I zoom in and if I copy that, you can see that if I line it right up, it goes together perfectly. And if I line it up on the bottom, it goes together there too. You can see, like I said, the lighting's off, so that's where you gotta really, you gotta spend some time in it. But it does pay off in the end. So the seams are only there right now because of the levels being off. But as you can see, all the lines line up like the, the details and the texture, especially horizontally, it was a lot easier there. Vertically, okay, obviously you need some more work, but that's how you make a tileable texture. So let me just do one more really quick. Uh, let me choose just a basic texture that I would usually use something like, um, something easy here. Here's a good one. This one shouldn't be tileable, let's find out. So. Image size, you go image, image size, pixels. So what's 1250 high? So 1250 divided by two is 625. So I need to offset it vertically by 625. Or is that wide? Am I, look, am I doing this backwards? Is that why I had problems? Yeah, it's wide, right? Okay, so I need to go 625 to the right. Um, so other offset 625 to the right and zero down and then I got to get rid of that seam again the lighting's off so this is kind of not a good example but yeah you, you basically just use the clone stamp tool and you try to get rid of the seam as best as you can That looks great. You can just you really can't tell that there's a that there's a seam there. You know, if you give just a little bit of time into it. Where's the seam? You never know it. And then we just need to do it horizontally, so image size. It is how much how tall? It's 864 pixels tall, so half of that is 432 so I need to offset it by 432 pixels vertically so I go to other offset change that back to zero and vertical 432 and now we need to get rid of that seam so we use a clone to stamp to again we alt and left click to choose my spot and we just kind of click Certain textures you want a bigger brush, certain textures you need a smaller brush, and it will make it easier. Things like this, that's very organic, a big brush makes it easier. But things with uh, less detail, that's where you want a smaller brush. And you want an image that has very even lighting, otherwise you're going to be there all day with the burn and dodge tool trying to even out the lighting. Try to make that look a little more organic, I don't know. Good enough for me anyways so yeah now if we take this and if we just simply transform it and scale lock it in 10 percent apply zoom in and if we copy and paste that you will now see that it tiles in every direction and if we go 
horizontally or vertically sorry I guess it tiles that way too we'll just go a fourth one just to show the effect is completely tileable so it's not lined up pixel perfect I think that is as you can see there's still a tiny 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 seam because I only spent a few seconds on this but if you really spend your time you will never notice the seam I mean take the original texture now this is you'd never notice the difference if you just use this as like a matte background or something but you've now taken a basic photograph and turned it into a seamless texture it's as simple as that so I'm gonna leave that off there Thanks for watching from the team here at BlenderTech.com. Again, that's BlenderTEK.com. If you enjoyed this video and learned something, please like it and don't forget to subscribe for more Blender, Unity 3D, Photoshop, programming, all sorts of videos. We now offer hard copies of our videos as well. If you'd like a copy to download on your computer to watch later, just leave us a message and we will upload it to our server for you to watch later in the media play of your choice. If you dislike this video for some reason, don't just leave. Instead, leave a comment or email the team at info at blendertech.com about what you did not like. We also take requests for a tutorial, so let us know what you want or want more content of. See you next time, and remember, create your way.